It's day three, everybody. Whiskey Hollow Shelter did me well. It didn't rain last night, so eh, that's good. It's nice, comfortable sleep in there by myself. Um, it's time to go to Front Royal. I know I got a date with a barbecue joint tonight. If I can get if I can get there and they're open, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna rest and relax. I think I should be able to get there by two. Um, and uh, be done with it so it's only 15 miles today so <clears throat> every every day i've walked less and less and that'll continue until tomorrow at least um uh, tomorrow is like scheduled for only 13 miles so we'll see how it goes i feel pretty good my uh my thighs my quads are a little tight today but um i just need to start walking i think i'll be fine so yeah let's get this day started i'll get back to you when uh we get some light all right y'all take care Oh, and good morning, Mushroom. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll tell you what, trail's been a lot nicer today than it was yesterday. Whoops. <laughs> uh, mostly flattish, nice, grooming, few rocks. <clears throat> Pretty much heading downtown to a road, the first road to Front Royal, which I don't think most people go to Front Royal from that road usually this next road after that but once I hit that road then I got uh, really two fairly decent sized climbs to get up to the top and then down to the next road uh, but much easier than yesterday that's for sure two days ago the forecast said it was going to start raining at 1 a.m. and then just rain a hundred percent chance all day long and I was mentally prepared to be walking in the rain all day today. But, as you can see over there, sun's shining. A few clouds in the sky. Looks pretty good. But they are calling for that rain to start around 11 o'clock. So, no big deal. I'll hike in the rain for three or four hours, I guess. And be into a nice, cozy bed and breakfast at the end of the day. This mountain home bed and breakfast is like... 100 yards off the trail so this is going to make it real easy to uh, get there and get back on trail tomorrow morning beautiful day feel good my legs feel good all systems are go captain I'm gonna just uh, hike my way to some spare ribs Macaroni and cheese and baked beans. That's what I got on my mind right now. Alrighty. Maybe I'll find something cool and interesting to show you in a little bit. It's just so odd to see these fence lines up here. But... Historically, back in the, I guess, early 1900s, most of these mountains were clean, no trees. They chopped them all down to build their stuff and to use for firewood and stuff. And I think they tried to farm up here. Of course, my guess is, is that they spent more time getting, digging out rocks and building walls than they were actually did farming in a lot of these areas. I don't know, just uh, strange. People came up here to live. It'd be neat to look at some old pictures of this, uh, of these mountains when, <laughs> when it was clear. I bet it, it looked really odd and really sad too, to me. Back before the Europeans arrived, this is all old growth forest. Big gigantic trees, I bet, everywhere. 
that would have been something to, something to see as well maybe if the at keeps on going for another 500 years and they don't log the uh corridor maybe these people that are walking this trail 500 years from now will be in awe of the old growth forest they get to walk through it'd be cool all right we're dumping down to that first road now and uh should be there in about an hour and then climbing to the top of the mountains again i'll be back a little road walk here that's where i came from and this is where i'm going what's really weird is that the trail itself is so nondescript that most of the time I'm walking, it'd be like I'm on the trail for the first time. But there's places like this that I remember distinctly because of the landmarks and other things. That bridge back there, I remember crossing it and there was a lady sitting at the picnic table. She wasn't too friendly. We said hello, but she just kind of grumbled back to us. But I distinctly remember her sitting there just eating some lunch. I don't know, she was a hiker weird all right so uh just gotta climb up into that mountain in front of me here one bump down a little bit then the big bump and then it's down to front royal today's moving along quite nicely the trail's a lot better than it was yesterday and i am able to uh walk a little faster I think I'm gonna be to that bed and breakfast by one o'clock, maybe two, the latest. All right. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you in a little bit. This is the Jim and Molly Denton shelter. This is one of the more famous shelters on the AT. I don't really remember the story behind it, but it's a nice shelter. It's got a nice picnic pavilion. Shelter looks like it probably sleeps eight to 10. They got this horseshoe thing over here and they got even a shower back there. So they got it all. Old pink hot dog's gonna sit down and take a, take a break. Pretty nice, a couple of bunks. Yeah, maybe 10, 10 people in here. Some more on the floor if you really need it. Apparently the government do not want you in here. It says right here, no trespassing. U.S. government property. And that thing goes all the way down. And it's been going all the way up there too. It's new. It wasn't here last year. And it was down there by the road, but not uh, way up here. Whew. It's just been raining on and off. It's kind of stopped right now. I'm just leaving my umbrella up because it's not bothering me. And it usually starts up and then stops again. I'm almost done. I have like 1.5 miles to go. I'll be down there at that bed and breakfast by about 1 o'clock. Which is fine with me because that gives me a half a day to just relax. Get my videos edited and uploaded. Go get my stuff for resupply and not feel like I'm rushing around. That's kind of what I try to do with uh, town days. If I can get in early, then I can get all that stuff done. Because it's quite a, 
quite a challenge sometimes to get everything done that you need to get done and still get the rest that you need. If you're through hiking, you need rest. I mean, you need to get horizontal and you need probably 10 to 12 hours in that horizontal position. At least I do. I mean, not everybody does, but for me, that's the one thing I look forward to at the end of the day is getting in bed. It is a, a highlight of my day. So if I get down here at one o'clock, get all checked in, get laundry done, get to town, get back, I'll be able to eat my dinner at a reasonable time. I'll be able to uh, get the videos uploaded and still get to bed by about eight or nine. And I'm I'm going to stay for breakfast tomorrow morning, and uh, so I won't get a I won't get started until probably nine o'clock. And uh, tomorrow's going to be a short day. It's only like 13 miles tomorrow, so it's not going to be a, a big problem. But yeah, I'll have a I'll even have three or four extra hours of just rest in the morning because I've been getting up and hiking before six. First day was five. Second day was six. Yeah, today was 545. So I've been getting up and hiking early just so I can make sure that I have enough time in the day to get my my quota for the day. So very good. This has been a really nice trail and I've been able to walk faster than uh, faster than yesterday for sure. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about it. Alrighty, I'll get back with you in a little bit. Well, I made it to the mountain home bed and breakfast. It's like only staying in that giant house up there. I hope it's not haunted. Well, I'm gonna get in there and get checked in. It's only one o'clock. Crazy. I'm in the basement. I'm in what they call the game room. Pretty nice. Got me a foosball table. Unfortunately, I got Mushroom here to play. If she were here, we could play some foosball. I got lots of games to play if I want and lots of DVDs, but this room's all mine. Pretty nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and take you into town when I get there. All right, see ya. Well, I'm back. I know I told y'all I was gonna take you into town, but you have to understand, it is freezing cold and raining outside right now. And they didn't get my laundry done fast enough, so I had to go in my shorts and my puffy jacket, which is okay. Um, it wasn't that bad, because I knew I was coming back to warm weather, but man, it was freezing. And so I just was like, I'm gonna get my stuff done, get out of here. And uh, so I went to the outfitter and I got two backpacker meals and some rehydration salts uh, and then I went to the same barbecue place that Mushroom and I went to last year it was pretty good stuff I was hoping to get some ribs but they didn't have ribs they just had pulled pork and brisket but you know what I got macaroni and cheese and baked beans and I like to mix my macaroni and cheese and baked beans together that's a real tasty treat in case you ever want to try something good try that and then I went right across the street to the Exxon and right into that convenience store and just bought the rest of my stuff. Basically, my breakfast, my, my snacks, and my desserts and other things like that, basically. Uh, so, got everything and then um, the uh, uh, owner of the, uh, the bed and breakfast brought the back and here I am. So, sorry about that. I'll do it another time. Uh, but today, I mean, I was just chill to the bone cold so this is the end of day three we did pretty good today i did pretty good today i ended up with uh, about 15 miles at the end of the day uh, achieved my objective and did it pretty fast i thought it was going to be a little harder hike than it was but the trail was nice today it was friendly uh not very many rocks and the climbs weren't too uh too bad right now climbing is my kryptonite so I suspect it's going to be maybe two weeks, maybe three, before that really starts to, um, you know, kind of go away, that it becomes better for me. So, we'll see how it goes. 
Tomorrow's gonna be a short day. I'm only I'm only gonna do about 13, I think, tomorrow. I'm gonna stay here for breakfast. And they serve breakfast at 7.30. So that means I'm probably gonna get out of here at 8.30ish. Uh, and get hiking probably about then. And nicely, nice thing about this place is it's right off the trail. I mean, just come off the trail, turn turn left, and boom, it's right there. So uh, very convenient to the trail. I can could basically get back on whenever I wanted to. And then uh, it's off to the Shenandoah, as much as would call it. So um, that's it for now. I am going to get my stuff packed up and get horizontal and probably fall asleep. I'm pretty tired. Uh, it's only like 5.30, but I figure I got another hour, maybe two left before I'm going to fall asleep. So uh, y'all take care, and I will see you next time. All right. Oh, and good night, mushroom. Bye-bye. <laughs>